I wanted to mention really quick the plight of the innocent people in the eastern part of Saudi Arabia, in Awamiya. Now that I'm talking to you, people in the city of Awamiya, in the eastern part of Saudi Arabia, are being besieged by the Saudi troops. They are being killed. They are being persecuted. There were many martyrs, many injured. Among the martyrs, there were a few women, men, elderly, and kids. Those brutalities are being conducted right now before the eyes of the entire world, but nobody would do anything. Why? Because, unfortunately, it seems that the Saudi government has this immunity. And they have this green light given to them by Mr. Trump and other superpowers around the world to go after the people in Awamiya to kill them, to persecute them without the United States making or doing anything to stop this massacre. Same thing now happening in Yemen, my dear brothers and sisters. Yemen, according to the health, World Health Organization, is facing the largest humanitarian crisis in the world. Thousands of pe people in Yemen are developing cholera, dying of, to, uh, of, of cholera. There is the risk of famine that is threatening the, uh, the, the life of millions of Yemeni people. Thousands of them already died. And whoever remained, whoever survived, facing either famine or the war by Saudi brutal government. Yet, nobody dares to say anything. Nobody dares to object. The United States of America that always speak about democracy, freedom, and human rights had chose to be deaf and mute and not say anything about those atrocities committed by the Saudi regime in Yemen, in Awamiya, and in Bahrain. They have been attacking those innocent people. They have been killing those innocent people. And the world chooses not to say anything. Just like the world chooses not to say anything when Israel attacks the Palestinian people. Unfortunately. But my dear brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna rabbaka labil mirsad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is monitoring what's happening. And there is no way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let the oppression being directed against innocent people in Saudi Arabia, in Bahrain, in Yemen, those oppressions will go unpunished. Allah and Rabbaka Shadidul Intiqam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will retaliate for them. If the US and the European Union and other superpowers, due to their own selfish interest, chose to be silent and not to take any action against the tyrannical rule of Al Saud. Allah will not be silent. Allah will retaliate. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will teach Al Saud a lesson. And Rabbaka yumhil wala yuhmil. Allah gives some time. Allah is patient. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not negligent. In the end, He will punish.